Welcome back everybody, Troy here. Tonight I'm going to do some, uh, a, what do they call it, a paella. That's what it is, it's a Spanish rice dish. And I'm not going to do it authentic Spanish because I'm down in, in Central Texas. I am going to throw a little bit of the Spanish flair from Mexico into it, I guess. But uh, it's made with saffron, that's what really gives it the, the flavor and, and, all, and the rice that you use too. Let me show you what we got. <clears throat> all right, here we go. I'm gonna use some uh, some chicken breast, and uh, these are fajita meat breast. I'm kind of wash that off and cut those up. Got some uh, regular sausage here. This is some uh, fresh shrimp. Gonna devein and shell these. Lemons, onion, a can of diced tomatoes, garlic, some uh, sliced up pimento, paprika, tarragon. Hard to find, but if you can find it, saffron. It's, uh, it's not much in there, but it doesn't take much. Crushed red pepper. I uh, already mentioned paprika. I got two of them here. Parsley. Got some white wine. Clam juice. Got two bottles of clam juice. I got some oborio rice. It's chicken stock. Olive oil. I think that's about it. And I'm going to finish it off on the top. A little uh, garnish with some, some fresh peas. Well, before we start our... Um, browning all the meat and everything. What we need to do is heat up some water so we can steep the saffron. So I've got three cups of water and I've got one cup of white wine in there. I'm gonna put in two of these eight ounce jars of uh, clam juice here. And the saffron comes in these little small vials like this. I'm not sure how much that is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just add a couple of them right there, but uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if I can put it in my hand to show you. It's just, just little little threads. Hopefully you can see that. They're the stamen, excuse me, they're the stamen from a flower, I believe, over in Spain. Anyway, they're very precious. Very, very expensive too. So we're going to do that. We're just going to bring this up to a simmer. I'm not going to let it boil, but we're going to bring it up to a simmer. I don't know if you can see, but that's already turning kind of a yellow looking. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, let it come up to a uh, little slight simmer, not really a boil. And we're going to let that steep until, uh, until we're ready to use it and you know, get the rice going. So let me do the, the meat right quick. All right, let's get some of this going here. Burn my burner on medium high here. Keep me up a little bit of olive oil. And we'll be back when that gets hot. All right, the oil is hot enough, I believe. No, still not. All right, let's keep warming it up. All right, now we got some grease popping, so I'm gonna add all this chicken. Add the sausage. And we're going to cook this chicken until it's just about done. Not quite all the way cooked. Alright, so um, let me finish getting these browned up. We'll be right back. Alright, this uh, chicken and sausage is about done. So I'm just going to transfer it over. Keep it on the side for a minute. If I can do this. Spilling everything. Get on out of there. Anyway, all right. Keep some of that oil in there. And that's that good oil from that sausage right there. 
All right, let that warm back up just a second. And then we're going to throw in our uh, red bell peppers. And this is onion. You probably can't see it because it's in a white plate, but that's onions. There we go. And we don't want the onions caramelized. We just want to put some in there and just wilt them down a little bit. Same with the red bell pepper. So it'll probably take about five minutes. All right, these onions are not caramelized, like I said, but they are wilted down. Now we need to add in uh, one can of diced tomatoes along with the juice. This is a 14 ounce can. Uh, this is the garlic and onion flavor. Going to add in some uh, crushed red pepper, about a, maybe a half teaspoon. There we go. Uh, paprika, one one teaspoon. There we go. And some garlic. All right, and we're gonna let this all get happy for about five minutes, and then we're gonna add the uh, the other ingredients to to get it going. So we'll be right back. Now we need to add three cups of this Oborio rice. If you could find some bamba rice or, or some of the other rices that uh, were used for the paella, more power to you. This is all I can find. All right, three cups. We're gonna stir this around. Let it absorb all these juices, and the tomatoes and everything, onions. Just let it kind of do its thing for about a minute or two, and then after that, we're going to add some more liquid and get it going. And this is still like on a medium, medium high. And I also don't have a paella pan, which is usually what people would use. But uh, you can find them on Amazon or your local store, I'm sure. So you just kind of want get to the, get the rice warmed up, let it absorb some of these juices. Give it a little head start. Tell you what, man, I don't know what it smells like in y'all's house tonight, but it smells good in my house. Sure does. Hey, I got a vote. Oh, that's another good thing. Today's election day. Hope everybody went out and voted. Your vote does make a difference. Big shout out to all our military, too. Appreciate all y'all do. Giving us that freedom to vote protecting us each and every day. All right, now I'm going to add back in all of our chicken and sausage. Just kind of fold it all together. This really does smell great. All right, now earlier while y'all weren't looking, I made a little herb blend here. I got some garlic in there. Got a bit of fresh parsley. Some lemon, uh, lemon juice actually. A little tarragon and some garlic. Uh, anyway, 
I'll throw that in there. Get all that out of there. And I can feel the rice getting tight now. About time to add our broth over there that's been steeping with that saffron and the clam juice. Ooh, Lord, it's gonna be good. All right, and I used water for the uh, for the juice over here. There you go. That's what it's looking like now. It's a nice yellow, set saffron in there. But uh, I used water, three cups of water, and a cup of white wine and the saffron in there and stuff, uh, and then two two bottles of clam juice, as y'all saw. You could add chicken broth or seafood stock, whatever you want to use in here. All right, we're gonna stir this and kind of let everything level out. And we're gonna let this go for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna add the shrimp. So we'll be back, we'll be back here shortly. All right, this has been going for uh, 12 minutes or so now. And I've got some uh, peeled and deveined shrimp. I'm gonna add these. And I did coat them with a little bit of uh, some lemon pepper. And uh, the lemon pepper mixture does have salt in it, so I don't need to add any salt. Get all up in there. Hopefully I can fit all these shrimp in there. Oh yeah, I'll make it work. There we go. All right, just kind of poke the shrimp down into the rice a little bit. And those will cook on their own. All right, I'm gonna stick a lid on this and uh, let it go about another 10, 15 minutes. We'll check it again. Now, this has been going about a half hour and it is almost done. I'm gonna add a little bit of a sliced up pimentos to the top here. need a whole lot. Kind of pretty it up a little bit. There we go and also gonna finish off with the two of these peas. There. That should be enough. Let that go about another five minutes and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna cover it. There you go. Paella. Great looking stuff. You can see it's still bubbling a little bit. It's okay to have a little bit of liquid in there. Right at the very end, like the last minute, minute and a half, you wanna crank the heat up a little bit. See if you can get that rice on the very bottom, just a little bit of thin crust. That's a key signature thing they do in paellas too. All right, let's plate this up. All right, everybody, this was a nice, fun dish to cook. Uh, it, it really does taste good. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Just wanna thank my friends over here at uh, Gun Barrel City, Texas. Hoot and holler. That's a dude on a fish. Man, if you ever pass through that city, y'all gotta check it out. Good. All right. Let's try some of this. There we go. That's what we're eating. See, it's still steaming. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's some good stuff. It smells great. Get a little bit of this uh, chicken, a little sausage. A little rice. Mm. That's awesome. <clears throat> Great stuff. Needs a little salt, a little pepper maybe. That fajita chicken worked out great. Let me try the shrimp here. A little shrimp. Man, that's fabulous. Good stuff.
That's my first time trying paella. It's good enough, so I might in invest in a pan now. But uh, appreciate y'all checking it out. If you haven't tried this dish, give it a try. There's uh, many different ways to, to do this. You can put seafood in it. You can leave seafood out and just put chicken in it. Put chorizo in it. However you want to do it. It's it's, it's like a jambalaya, basically. But, again, you got the saffron and, and some other stuff in there from the Spanish influence side. Give it a shot. I'm sure you all enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Take care.